Well, welcome to How To Pam. Today I'd like to um, do a little work with Flowblade Video Editor. Right here, yes, Flowblade. I've opened it up here and I've loaded a few video clips in here. And today we're going to look at compositors okay and how they function in Flowblade so let's go back to our media load a few clips up here um, and drag them onto the timeline there okay and we can go ahead and maybe drag another one onto the timeline here And maybe another one there. Okay. Now, we can see that this clip here is approximately 15 minutes and 51.10 seconds long. So we'll use that for our, our uh, base. Uh, let's bring this one down. And we we'll leave that one here for now okay so let's go ahead and uh, and see what we've got for compositors here okay now you will notice that if I lift that out of there and lift that out of here okay you'll notice we have no compositors here and no way to really get a compositor. So we can right click on here and you'll see there's compositors but they're not highlighted so I cannot add them. Why is that? Well that is simply because we have to have a second clip in there. Okay so now let's bring a clip in here. Okay and now let's go to compositors and let us highlight that clip and let's click on it and you can see we have the ability here then okay add a blend add a fade add a compositor let's start with a um, a picture in picture okay so now you can see a line is jumped in here an activity line and let us have a look up here in the window now this says medium size window and it has a small window it also has a large window okay and up here it tells us the destination track is V1 okay so you can see the arrow pointing down because it's going to put the picture in the picture on this here track. Okay? So, if we look at this here, we can see that this is the size of our screen coverage and the second video will also be that large. So basically if we played this, we would only see one video because they're both the same size. Let's press the play and see what happens here. Now, we turned the sound off of number two, track two, so that we don't have double sound. Now, but the video is on on both tracks. But you don't see anything here. Let's shut the video off on track two. Now, there's the initial track one. When we turn the video on track two back on, it's the same size, so it's hiding video one. Well, that's no good. Let's stop that. We wanted to run picture in picture, didn't we? So what we're going to have to do here is let's make this second video smaller. Okay? Now you can make that 
size that in any direction you like okay and you can see now where it's sitting here so we can get that second video to the right size and then let's move it to where we'd like it to be now if we don't want any black on there we can make it a little bit smaller and a little over here on this side here okay so now that's pretty close to where we want it we could move it anywhere we want but let's put it where it's visible maybe somewhere in there okay now we can move on this timeline this timeline is the duration of this clip okay and only that so after we get to this point in the video we won't have any picture in picture in this end here unless we had a picture video clip that was just as long as the initial clip 15 minutes so right now for our test we're just going to have a clip this long and once the time line passes the marker passes the timeline here we'll have no picture in picture at all because we don't have any second video here okay so now important thing is this timeline represents this timeline so we can show this window in different positions let's say that we would like to uh, have it play there for a while and then maybe a little ways through we'd like to move that window up over here okay see it there and maybe a little ways through we'd like to move that window back down here there it is there okay now that window will float around let's say we'd like to have it back where it was okay that window will float around as it was mapped as we moved it and it will float at a speed very slowly or faster depending on the fade in speed and the fade out speed here okay so let's just have a look here let's back the timeline up here and let's watch and see what happens here let's begin to play it see it moving there now it's going very slowly isn't it we could increase that here a maximum of 150 okay and now let's see what happens on a machine with a display that is only capable of um, maybe 10 24 by 80 evolution um, now you'll notice that from this point to this point we initially set our window up here but it is traveling our path all the way up there that we traveled now these can be adjusted while you're running We can also set the opacity, but opacity will not be able to be set unless we stop, okay? Because the opacity has to be coincided with the markers on the line here, on the timeline. Okay. 
Okay, notice our marker here on the timeline is coinciding with this travel distance. All we have to do. And notice in this area, our wire frame is traveling around. Plug into a guest monitor, a second monitor into our machine that will allow a resolution that is 1152 by 768 or above. Now, most machines have the capability. And we're just about back to where we started there, okay? Now notice on the machine if it's older to actually plug in. There we go. Okay, we stopped there. Okay, we're back to where we started. We went around. So that is the picture in picture. That'll get you started there. Now, you might decide that you don't like those settings, so you can reset everything here. See how everything went back? However, it's still picture in picture. So by resetting it, it didn't change the picture in picture. Now remember, we had a few different kinds of compositor options, but it's picture in picture that we've chosen. And even though we reset it, it still stayed on picture in picture. The only way to get rid of that is to delete it. Okay, now it's gone. Now, if we wish to choose another type of, say, region, okay, now we have a different set of options. You'll notice here it says region down here, and we have options in here. It says from horizontal to the center. That's the distance of travel. Okay? And there is a bunch of options here. Of It's just filled with options here. Horizontal to center, left to right, horizontal to right. Okay? Again, we would have medium set here. It's going to be showing in track one, V1. But again, our video that we're going to display in a region is as large as the initial video in track one. So again, if we play it, if we begin to play, we will not see anything because video 2 is hiding video 1 because they're the same size. Let's shut video 2 off. There. You see? Okay. So what we need to do is we need to resize this area. where we would like our video 2 to show up. Okay? So let's make an area that size. I've got it shut off here. Let's turn it on. There it is there. Okay? Now, let's say that we would like that video a little bit... Um, oh, let's put it right there. Now, let's say that we do not want it to move. Well then, we've set it there on this marker on the timeline and we'll have it stay right to the end at that same position. Okay? So now let's push the down arrow key and move back to the beginning and let's play our video. We could shut it off. We can turn it on. Okay. And you'll notice it is playing a video just as this is playing the video. 
Okay? So you can do a lot of wonderful things. We've got no fade in and fade out set. The default settings are 10. We're not using them here. We're not fading in and fading out. We could have faded in and faded out. Okay? So this is a wonderful tool. Okay? For whenever you might want to use a video in another video. And there are many options available in this powerful tool. Okay? So that is a little bit about Flowblade and compositors. And you can have a great deal of fun with it. Just play around with it. You can't hurt the uh, software. And and um, enjoy it. Okay? And when you're done with your video, of course, you can go ahead and render it and output your new video and it will be as you have created it. Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial by How To Pam.